Um, so probably the number one goal basically is to build on what we accomplished last year, which was a 10 win season. We worked our way up the conference. So we want to continue to build on that. We think at this point in time, we can compete with any team in the ODAC. Uh, and now it's kind of up to us to prove that um, on a consistent basis. Uh, and able to, in order to do that, uh, it comes down to what I just mentioned. So consistency and training every day and every single game and basically having the confidence and belief to know that we can compete with anyone and we can get a result in any game we play in. So I think first we've started to have some team meetings and we've very early on have said that we want our younger incoming guys to be able to grow into their positions, grow as players, but then also to have our older juniors and the senior to be able to develop the team, develop team chemistry, um, and really provide kind of the brotherhood that Hamden Sydney emits to its students onto the team. So far, our preseason has been good. Um, it, we've kind of learned that we have a versatile group, a strong group. Uh, a number of the freshmen have come in and made an impact already. A lot of returners as well came in extremely fit and ready to go, which helped us uh, kind of work on some things right from day one. That'll help us going forward. So all in all, it's been very good so far. Uh, preseason's been going well. Uh, everybody's been working hard. The returning players, you know, came in and kind of set the tempo for the younger guys to look up to. Um, there have been some bumps and bruises along the way, but for the most part, everybody's pushed through, and it's been a great preseason, and it's going to set us up really well for, for what's to come. Maybe the biggest strength for our team right now is that we still don't know exactly what we're going to look like because we have a lot of versatility, a lot of depth, and a lot of guys that have stepped up. So kind of our job now is to figure out how it best comes together uh, and kind of how the pieces fit. Uh, and those are good problems to have. And again, it comes down to the group of guys we have and the fact that a lot of guys have stepped up in a lot of different ways. I think for us, you know, compared to a lot of the ODEC teams, you know, we're not the most physical team. Uh, we don't really play that style and you know that that's really not how we want to play. I think we would need to play to our strengths in you know, getting the ball down, possessing it, and using the talent that we have on the team. I think that's really one of our main strengths and kind of what we will use in ODAC play and that will put us above the other teams. So we expect everyone to contribute in some way. Some returners that are a little more established, though, Hunter Weiland going into his senior season. Uh, Spell Cars had a great off season. Um, Eli Strong as well. We have a few other older guys that are injured at the moment, but we expect back very soon. And then a number of younger guys that we expect to step up right away as well. So it's going to be a group effort. It's tough to pinpoint just a few guys, again, just because you know we have a lot of depth and we expect a lot from a lot of players. I think the three of us up here, are definitely the senior most members on the team. Um, I know we have Cole Burton, Jacob Mann, and then we have a lot of incoming freshmen that have great potential. Um, and really, it's one of those teams this year more than ever where we can say we can put any one of our guys on the field starting 11 and they're gonna make an impact. Um, this year we have depth, we have you know good personalities across the entire roster a to where a lot of talented yeah. players as well. To where we can pretty much trust everybody that's around us to be able to create and, you know, ch hopefully get the win. So right now, in last season, uh, as the year went on, our work rate got better and better, our consistency got better and better, and that's something that we'll have to continue to, to build on and improve. And then from there, uh, now that we have that foundation, we can maybe be a little more calculated with some of the things that we do, particularly in the attack. We have a lot of dynamic players, and now we have a lot of different possibilities once we get into the final third, so we'll continue to work on that. Um, and then also from a defensive standpoint as well, just a little more consistency uh, and, and making sure that we can kind of build the game from that end too once we win the ball. Uh, you know, as we have a lot of freshmen coming in, I know Eli and I both experienced that when we started our careers here at Hampton Sydney. Uh, one thing that we look to work on as we progress through the season is to improve our team chemistry. Um, really kind of getting the, the guys to mesh well as a group. Uh, that's that's probably the the greatest thing that we could accomplish throughout the season as we progress, other than you know accumulating a lot of wins, which is the primary goal.
but uh, getting everybody to feel like a family, which honestly we're already on our way. That's, that's something that we've already started to work on ourselves. So getting everybody as a, as a family is the number one thing, and it'll lead to great things for us.